Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to do an introduction to order of operations. Of course, we can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, we're doing order of operations today, an introduction. Okay, here we go. Order of operations right here, Charlie. Now, there are four parts, four, to order of operations. First part has to deal with parentheses. First, perform their operations within the parentheses. So here's our example. Six subtract the quantity, four subtract one. The four subtract one is in parentheses, so we have to do that first, Charlie. Now watch. What's four subtract one? Three. Three. And we bring down our six subtract three. Now notice we have a three in the parentheses. That three is positive. Therefore, we don't necessarily need those parentheses around that positive three. We're going to talk more about this when we start dealing with subtracting negative numbers and adding negative numbers. So we don't necessarily need that three in parentheses, so we'll bring it down. Six subtract three. And what's six subtract three, Charlie? Three. Three. Very nice. And that's our answer there. All right. Let's do another one. Eight subtract the quantity. Four plus one. Now, Charlie. We have four plus one in parentheses. What is four plus one? Five. Five, that's right. And it's eight subtract five. Again, we have a positive five in the parentheses. We don't necessarily need it. So we have eight subtract five. What is it, Charlie? Three. It's three. Yes, the same as the one before. Our answer is three. Very nice. But notice we're doing the parentheses first. Okay, now here's another problem here. Another expression with two parentheses. Now, the parentheses have to be done first before you move on. The first set of parentheses, 4 subtract 7, is what, Charlie? Negative 2. Now, there's a three. negative 3 in parentheses, okay. Now, let's do the next one. What's 5 plus 1? 6. That's 6. And don't forget, we had a subtraction between those two. Now, negative 3 is in parentheses, but, but because it's the leading term of this expression, we don't need those parentheses around that negative 3, and we can just write it as negative 3 subtract 6. Now, the 6 was positive in the parentheses. So, um, if this is giving you problems, uh, ask your uh, tutor, your facilitator, your parents, your brother or sister, and work at this. But we'll talk more about these parentheses. When can you take them off when we get to adding and subtracting negative numbers, which is coming pretty soon. Okay. Now, negative 3 subtract 6, Charlie. Think of number line. Think of the number line. Negative 3, we subtract. Which way do we move, Charlie? To the left. To the left, that's right. So negative 3 subtract 6 would be what, Charlie? Negative 9. Negative 9. Very nice there. So we should have our subtraction techniques down by now. Okay, now we've done parentheses. So now we're moving to the next one, which is the second step. Second thing to look for is exponents, okay? Simplify any numbers that have exponents. So here's our example 6 subtract 3 squared. Now, a lot of people want to do 6 subtract 3 first. Well, if you do that, you'll be coming back next semester to repeat the class. Remember, order of operations. You have to do parentheses first. Well, we don't have any parentheses. We have to do the exponent. Now, that is 6 subtract 3 squared. That is not a negative 3 up there, not the way it's written. It's 6 subtract 3 squared. So do the exponents. What's 3 squared, Charlie? 9. 9. And so we have 6 subtract 9, and now subtraction. 6 subtract 9 is a what, Charlie? Negative 3. Negative 3, very nice. Okay. Now, here's a problem with parentheses. Parentheses first. Now, in this problem with those parentheses over there, you have to do the 6 subtract 3. What's 6 subtract 3, Charlie? 3. It is 3. And so it's 3 squared. And do we need the parentheses around that 3, Charlie? No. It's a positive 3. We don't necessarily need it. So 3 squared is what, Charlie? Nine. It's nine, that's right. It's six if you want to repeat this class. Remember, three squared means three times three, which is nine. Go back and review that exponent video if you're having problems. Seven plus two squared. Here's another problem. Exponents first. Charlie, what's two squared? Four. That's four, that's right. Seven plus four is 11. There we go. There's our answer. Now, let's go to our third one. So we have parentheses, we have exponents, and now we're going to the next, the third one, which is Perform multiplication and division in order, working left to right. Very important here. And so here's an example. 6 uh, divided by 3 times 2. Now, a common error is to do the 3 times 2 first, but 
Order of operations says you do multiplication division all at the same time working left to right, whichever one comes first. Now since the division is first here, we do the division, six divided by three is two, bring down our times two, and now we can do the multiplication, two times two is four. Be very careful with these. Let's do another one. This is six times three divided by two. Remember, order of operations does not say do multiplication before division. It doesn't say that. It says do multiplication division at the same time, whichever comes first, working left to right. Now this problem, six times three divided by two, which comes first, try the multiplication or division? Multiplication. The multiplication. So we do six times three, which is 18 divided by two. What's 18 divided by two, Charlie? Nine. Nine, you better know that by now. And that is our answer there. All right, now let's step it up a bit. Let's do this problem over here. Now, what do we have to do first, Charlie? Parentheses. Parentheses, that's right. Five plus three is eight. We'll bring down our work. Now, again, we don't necessarily need that parentheses around the eight. Now, we have eight divided by two squared times two. What do we have to do next? Exponent. The exponent, the two squared. Now, what's two squared, Charlie? Four. Four, okay, so we'll do that first, and we'll bring down our work, eight divided by four times two. Now, division and multiplication, Charlie, we do them at the same time working left to right, so we gotta do, have to do the division first. Eight divided by four is two, two times two is, right, is four. And that is our answer there. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, let's go to our last one now. We have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and the last part is addition and subtraction. The fourth part is to perform addition and subtraction in order working left to right, whatever comes first. So six subtract three plus two, you cannot add the three plus two first. It doesn't say do addition before subtraction. It says do whatever comes first working left to right. So you must do the six subtract three, which is three, and then add the two. And Charlie, what's three plus two? Five. That's five, very nice. And so here's another one, six plus three, Subtract two, Charlie, and be careful with this. Which do we do first? Addition, the addition, because it, came, it comes first working left to right. And six plus three is what, Charlie? Nine. Nine, subtract two, that's right. What's nine subtract two? Seven. Seven, very nice. Now, step it up a bit. Five plus three in parentheses, subtract two squared plus four. Parentheses first, which is eight. Now, Bring down our work. What's next, Charlie? We've done our parentheses, do we have exponents? Exponents. Yes, so we gotta do the two squared, which is a four, right? And we bring down our work. Eight, subtract four, plus four. Now, addition, subtractions. Which one comes first? Subtraction. Subtraction, so we do eight, subtract four, which is what, Charlie? Four. Four. And four plus four is eight. Very nice there, Charlie, so. That's our order of operations. Now, let's do a couple problems. And remember, parentheses, exponents, multiplication divisions done at the same time working left to right, addition, subtraction done at the same time working left to right. So, here we go, we're gonna step it up. Here's our problem. We have parentheses, so we gotta do those first, Charlie, right? And so that's eight, bring down your work. Okay. Now, no more parentheses. Do we have exponents, Charlie? Yes. Yes, the two squared. So we'll do that first, four, right? Bring down our eight 